I just want to say good morning to everybody. I'm no, no, sorry. I just want to say good morning. Just get everybody in a good mood. How's everybody doing? Good. 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 All right. All right. So if you drive a BMW or a Mercedes and you upgraded it to a sport package from the dealership, yeah, I know you got run flats and you may not need to pay attention to this. But for the rest of you, and like myself, that don't have run flats, pay attention closely. One of the first things after getting a flat tire, you want to gain control of your car and pull over safely to the shoulder. Make sure that, you know, if you do uh, experience a flat tire on a hill, that you get to the top of it because this won't work unless you have flat ground. One of the most important things that you need to know is to use the emergency brake. If you start jacking up your car and your car doesn't have the emergency brake on, it's going to fall off the jack. So after that, you want to proceed to your trunk and get out, get out all the materials of your car. This includes a spare tire, a tire iron, a jack, and a jack handle. After this, you can proceed to your flat tire and start taking it off using your tire iron. Now, like myself, I had to actually jump on the tire iron to get these lug nuts off, which uh, was pretty uh, energy efficient. <clears throat> After taking off the lug nuts, you want to start to jack up the car. You want to find the proper jacking points. Now there's a steel beam that runs from the front of the car all the way to the back. And there's these little four inch pieces that are reinforced. Now there's a little notch on the, uh, on the jack that you want to slip into the steel beam. This will make sure that everything's properly aligned and you want to make sure that the base of your jack is also flat. Because if there's any loose stones or anything, again, it'll come off. So you can now proceed to jack up the car and take off the rest of the lug nuts. You can now proceed to take the rest of the lug nuts off. After you do this, instead of just taking the flat tire and putting it to the side, you can use it as a safety tool and put it underneath your car. Just in case if the jack does buckle or your car does fall, instead of falling on you or on the pavement, it'll fall on the rim and you can jack up your car again. Now after you've taken this out, there's a uh, front and a back to your spare tire. It's almost like a bowl shape. If you look at it as a bowl, you want the bottom of the bowl facing towards you and the top of it inside the car. Now it's not going to stay on the lug studs unless you tighten it using one of the lug nuts. So tighten it as much as you can by hand, and instead of going in a circular pattern, you want to go in a star pattern, skipping every other one. This will ensure that all the surfaces are flush. Now you can proceed to lower down the car and tighten it as much as you can. Now, once the car has about 50% of the load on the actual spare tire, this is where you really want to crank it in and get all your might. You can then finally lower the car all the way down and start putting the materials back in your trunk. Now you're asking yourself, after all this you know, hard work, getting on your knees, dirty hands, you're wondering yourself, is it really worth it? And it is. I'll tell you why. Because you just saved $300 on your bank loan insurance. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, but you did save money and you did save time. Because time-wise, you don't have to wait half an hour or 45 minutes for somebody to come out and repair the tire. And you can make your time, you can make it on time to your classes or school. And for money-wise, you don't have to pay a tip or a fee for somebody coming out to service your car. Thank you.